Hey everybody, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sires, back here for the Music Factory Studios. Today I want to talk to you about a little tablet that a friend of mine had, and he wanted me to try to put Linux on it. And I'm like, uh, I don't think you can do that with Atom processors. And it comes preloaded with Windows 10. It's an RCA Cambio, the little 10 inch. We thought we may be able to squeeze a little more performance out of it. And so I go searching and looking around for ways to install just any Linux distribution on this little tablet. And you know, if you've seen these little tablets, they're not much. They're an Atom processor, little quad core. The graphics are terrible. They have two gigs of RAM. You know, the keyboard and mouse are just awful. But I thought, you know, if nothing else, I told him, I also said, if nothing else, I guarantee I can get like Android x86 to run on here. He said, that's fine, but I'd really prefer Linux. I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. So I go searching online to see who else has tried this. And to my amazement, it seems like everyone seems like it's some sort of weird impossibility or that you have to do so much work because it has a 32-bit BIOS and a 64-bit CPU. So as I go looking around for answers, I'm like, oh, this looks like this isn't going to work. So it's probably going to be Android, you know? And so I end up going and grabbing Fedora. And I try Fedora after a half a dozen other distros that wouldn't work. And it worked. It worked perfectly. The install process took literally 40 minutes, though, because the uh, Cambio only has one USB port and it just takes forever. I guess because Fedora needs to figure out that it's a 32 bit BIOS and a 64 bit CPU. But I was able to get a 64 bit operating system on it. The backlight works, the touch on the screen works. The only thing that didn't work was audio, which they didn't care about anyway, so it didn't matter. Sorry about this footage here. I had to film it with my GoPro 8. Uh, but it it worked. I installed regular Fedora Workstation, which is not probably the best idea because it's, well, GNOME. And GNOME is a little heavier, especially for a, a machine this size. But I will say this. GNOME is great on a touchscreen. <laughs> I have a 21-inch touchscreen, and I like GNOME on a touchscreen. But as you can see here, it's a an Intel Atom Z8350. It only has two gigs of RAM, but you know, Fedora installed just fine. It took a long time and I was worried it was gonna fail, but it didn't. It just worked, which was nice. Now, the, the reason I went with Fedora was, well, it was the first one to work. I had tried Ubuntu, I had tried Linux Mint, I had tried a few Manjaro's. I even tried to do Arch from scratch, you know, just a regular Arch install and really couldn't. I'm not that familiar with doing Arch, but I can do it on a regular machine. But with this 32 bit BIOS, 64 bit CPU issue, it just it wasn't working. So I went through, I'm serious, half a dozen different Linux distributions, tried 32 bit, tried 64 bit, I, you know, Debian. I mean, Artix, um, Brunson Labs. I mean, just all kinds. Uh, Manjaro's open box, Manjaro's 32-bit. Now, what I should have done is went to the Fedora Spins and grabbed something like XFCE or LXQT or LXDE and installed those because they're a lot lighter than GNOME is as far as memory usage, seeing as though this machine only has two gigs of RAM. So... That's what I should have done, but they were fine with having GNOME on there. And I'm like, hey, if that's what you want, so be it. Just don't try to install the uh, Sugar on a Stick desktop. That's garbage. <laughs> but uh, this little machine, it, it worked out real good. And if you want to try Fedora on one of these, you can go to spins.fedoraproject.org and, and, and get an ISO for anything. Just kind of avoid Plasma and kind of avoid GNOME and you'll be okay. I mean, this little machine is, eh. I mean, you would probably be better off to install Android. I did get Android to work, but you have to go into the BIOS of the machine and you have to specifically look for an option that says OS image disk and change it 
from Windows 10 to Android to even be able to install a Linux. If you leave it on Windows 10, it will never install Linux. So you can try that. And by doing this, you could also install Android. All right, guys and gals, I hope that helps somebody else out that's been wanting to install Linux. Subscribe and check out one of our other videos here on the Music Factory. All right, guys and gals, we'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all.